well another year another start I've been given this drawing it's going to have an 85.3 millimeter hole and they want it opening up from one end at 90 with a 5.71 degree taper as you can see there the length of taper will be 26 millimeter look at that what they've given me see if I can do anything with that I don't know how good they think I am right first thing I'll strip the, the tooling out of it and then cut the head down approximately to here then I've got a piece of steel I saved here with an all already in it I'll cut, the, I'll cut a piece of that off and then weld it into here strip head down first well I was going to turn the head off but it's quite tough material and it's a knock knock with the tool so I'm going to put it on the bandsaw and sew it off and then saw a piece of the steel off and then match them up right off with its head so I've ended up with this piece of 4145 with a 38 millimeter hole in it that would be perfect for what I want to do this saw doesn't cut straight I have to keep twisting it around oh well I've got to face it anyway that's what I've ended up with that well I left a quarter an inch on the length so no problem to face out this is another tool I'm doing in spare time while well, that's running ten and a half inch bow 70 inches long back to the job in hand I'm going to put this piece in first rough it down rough it down to size ish face the end square and then I need to bore this bore this out for that to fit inside there so I can weld it I'm making this up as I go along very roughly set within 10 thou I'm just going to clean the faces up first get rid of the, the bad lumps on the sawn face perfectly for something like this because it's a Dean Smith and Grace and they're perfect for everything The bow's not concentric with the diameter so I need to get around that I don't want to take too much out of the bow so I'm just gonna put a taper on each end so I can turn it between centers you'll see what I mean as I get further into it Turn it around and 
sets about the other half. Seven degree taper using this insert which is 50 millimeter long five point seven ish by eye so I'll make the taper roughly 60 millimeter long That's that part done. I'll turn it around and start machining the other side. But first, that's about to break through. So, I'll go and watch that and then put another one in. Then come back to this. Ten and a half inch, but... So I have to make this end fit inside here. So I'll turn them back 10, 10 millimeter. That'll suit this board out round. So it'll fit inside so I can weld it. to add a well prep just in time that one's going to go through now So that's 
that prep now. I need to open that up for this to fit inside. If I don't see, if I don't sound happy about doing this, it's because this thread. You see that? It's got a torque fracture. It's it's cracked, which happens. What causes it is because the cutting forces are twisting. They sometimes crack down here. There is a scientific name for it, and I just cannot remember what it's called. But I've been told it's good enough. What I would have liked to have done is to make the complete head in one piece with a four star thread, E thread. I've done thousands of them. Well, perhaps not thousands, but definitely hundreds. But it's more important to keep those going. So I'll do that and then weld it and see what it's like. Just for roughing, I've set, set it by eye here on the chuck jaws. It doesn't look too bad, but that's just for me to clean the saw marks out of the face and get rid of some of the bore. And then I'll bring it out Time to bring it out and hold on the thread very, very gently. I've left 15th out on all sizes. Fifteenth out to come out of the bore and off the face. the head pressed on to place, nice tight fit, it's only running two thousandths of an inch out, which I was expecting more than that, but so I'll drag the weld around and weld it around here, build it up with weld and then finished machine and the head diameters first thing I've got to do is turn that round it's gone past halfway
before I carry on cleaning the well on that head, I thought I'd show you this. I've got to bore a 12 inch hole through it. I'm gonna get this going first and then get back on with doing the head. Doesn't that look pretty? Well, I got so carried away in my excitement doing that job. I didn't show you what I was doing with this. It's all to sizes now. 85 millimeter dead. 5.7 degree taper. It's cleaned up okay. My concern is that crack the torque fracture what I will do when I put the cutting tip in I will have it here so the force will be trying to close will be trying to close onto the crack if I had it anywhere around here it would be trying to open the crack do you get what I mean? Right, the next thing I have to do is make the cartridge for the cutting insert and the mill, the support pads. I'll make the cartridge first. Before I carry on with that, with the tool, I just thought I'd show you this. 15 inch bore opening it up to 16 and a quarter in one pass right let me get back on with this all this is through that's those two done what I've got to do now is I've got four pieces of ink in all 718 for a nine inch bow and that's quite a long running time so I've got time to get on the beautiful bridge boat and get on with the head well I'll get round to that head eventually but this 718 I've, I've had to refurbish this tool first new cartridges and the Tufnell support pads for the, for the ink in all 718 jobs remill cut off anyway that's done I'm going to get this going and I'm definitely going to get on with the head right that sounds nice and quiet for the time being pads are just cutting it Time to get on the bridge boat. I'm putting the pad pockets in first. Seven and a half millimetre thick. They need to be stood proud two and a half millimetre. So five millimetre depth. Let me get the first one in. Exactly 10 thou deeper I have to go, 10 thou on each side.
I've got six thousandths of an inch deeper to go with this pocket. I just want to tell you something quite important with these bridge boats or any mill compared, if it comes to that. Don't adjust that lock and don't adjust that lock. They can either lift or drop the table. Maybe only a thou or two thou. But that's too much for tools like this. They need to be zero dead. They can't be plus one thou or minus one thou. They have to be zero. So do not adjust the locks. That's all the pad pockets mill then. This one has two screw holes so I can lift the pad to set the size. I found a piece of EM24 what I've milled to make the cartridge. First I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some of this out where the cartridge will sit. I guess I best gonna have a look at the 718, see how that's going. Right, I'll get another one in and then back on the head. I've dot marked the centre line using a 5mm tap. I need to cut this area out first for the scrap. putting an 11 degree taper to make the scrap channel as big as possible. The angles I managed to get in to maximise the scrap channel was 11 degrees on this one and 22 degrees on this one. The cartridge I'll be making will be 18.5 millimetre thick, so I'm going to scrap the outline again.
That's the cartridge pocket, more or less finished. Just have to put a brand new cutter in and just get a, a white round. Time to check on the ink in all 718. Sounds all right. Quarter of an inch to go. Just have got enough time to finish the head. I better crack on with it. So that's the, the head finish with a cartridge pocket. So now I need to make a cartridge. From that, for that insert, I'll sort the line first. Five point seven degrees taper cartridge. Swivel and tilt vice, an absolute must for a bridge port. Seven degree angle on the insert. Need to fix the mounting screws for the cartridge. What I'm going to do is put the cartridge in and drill straight through. Much easier to line up. That's through the cartridge now and marked the head, remove the cartridge and carry on. Come to boring to accept the head of the fixing screw. That's the cartridge mounted. What I have to do now is put the clearance angles on. Just through experience of me making 
things like this before I know it's round about 22 degrees that's what I'll try first at exactly 22 degrees so that's it finished three support pads cartridge Right, I'll build it up and show you what it looks like. So that's it, all set and ready to use. It's a shame about that crack there. But I've been told it won't make any difference, it'll be okay. Some people know more than me. What I should do now is do one of those. You know where they do the fancy ending where they show you little bits like Adam does on Avon. All different camera angles and everything with background music. I'm going to try that. That's all folks.